Hi there. Welcome to our podcast. My name is Emma, and I'm here with my co-host, James. Hello, everyone. I'm James. We're super excited to have you here with us today. We've got a really interesting topic to talk about something that's close to everyone's heart. We're going to dive into the asterisk science asterisk of falling in love. Sounds exciting, right? Yeah, falling in love is such a special feeling. But have you ever wondered why we fall in love? What is it about someone that makes our heart race, our palms sweat, and our mind focus on them all the time? Is it just magic, or is there a science behind it? That's a great question, Emma. You know, a lot of people think love is all about emotions, and while that's true, there's actually a lot more to it. Scientists have studied love for years and found out that there are chemicals in our brain that play a big part in how we fall in love. Yes, exactly. When we fall in love, our brain releases something called dopamine. Dopamine is like a feel-good chemical. It makes you feel happy and excited. That's why when you're around someone you like, you feel on top of the world, right? Absolutely. And not just dopamine, but also other chemicals like oxytocin and serotonin. They all mix together to create that warm, fuzzy feeling. It's almost like your brain is playing a beautiful love song just for you. It's fascinating, isn't it? But here's the thing, love is not just about chemicals. There's also a lot going on with your body and your mind. When we fall in love, we also feel closer to someone like we trust them and want to spend more time with them. Yes, and that's where oxytocin comes in, often called the bonding hormone. It helps you feel connected to the person you're in love with. It's like glue for your relationship. Well, that's a nice way to describe it. Jane's like glue. Love is a strong bond and our brain helps make that happen. But here's something even more interesting. Did you know that falling in love can actually change the way you think and act? That's right. Scientists say that when you're in love, you might start focusing only on the good things about the person you love. You kind of ignore any bad things or mistakes they make. Your brain wants you to see them in the best possible way. Exactly. It's like you're wearing love glasses that make everything about that person seem perfect. But let's not forget falling in love isn't just about what's happening in your brain. It's also about your heart. Your heart races, your palms sweat, and sometimes you even feel nervous. Isn't that funny? It really is. All those feelings come from a mixture of chemicals, emotions, and even instincts. Love can make us feel nervous because it's such a powerful emotion. Sometimes we can't even control it. Yeah, love can be unpredictable. One minute, you're feeling calm, and the next, you see that person and suddenly feel butterflies in your stomach. Do you know what people call that, James, the butterflies? I've heard of it. It's like your stomach is flipping, and you're both excited and a little scared at the same time. Exactly. It's a combination of excitement and nervousness. And that's part of what makes love so thrilling it's full of surprises. You never know what's going to happen next. That's the beauty of it. Love is a special, complex feeling that affects both your body and your mind. But while it may feel magical, there's also a scientific side to it. And that's what makes it even more special knowing that love isn't just about emotions, but about how our brains work too. Yes, and understanding the science of love can actually help us in relationships. When we know why we feel the way we do, it can make us appreciate love even more. It's not just something that happens by chance, it's something our brains and bodies work together to create. Exactly. Love is both a feeling and a process that happens inside us. And what's amazing is that it happens to everyone, no matter where you're from or what language you speak. It's something we all share. I love that, James. Love connects us all. And it's such a beautiful thing. Whether it's with friends, family, or someone special, we all experience love in some way. Totally. And it's not just about romantic love, either. The science of love can explain why we feel close to friends or why we love our family. 
It's all part of the same process in our brain. Right. Whether it's friendship, family, or romance, love is always important. And speaking of love, did you know that studies have shown that being in love can make you healthier? Really? I've heard that love can lower stress, but I didn't know it can also make you healthier. Yes, when you're in love or feeling connected to someone, it can actually help lower your blood pressure and even boost your immune system. Isn't that amazing? Just by feeling love, your body becomes stronger. Wow, that's incredible. Love really is powerful emotionally and physically. No wonder it's such an important part of life. It really is. So, whether you're falling in love for the first time or you've been in love for years, it's good to know that love is not just about feelings, but also about health and happiness. And what's even more fascinating is that love looks different for everyone. Some people fall in love quickly, and for others, it takes time. But no matter how it happens, love is always something special. Absolutely, love is unique for each person, and that's what makes it so beautiful. It's a journey that we all take in our own way. So, as I was saying, love is a journey that's different for everyone. Some people fall in love quickly, like in a moment, while others take time to develop that connection. But either way, it's always a special experience. Exactly. And what's interesting is that even though love is unique for each person, the way our brains and bodies react is actually quite similar. Whether it's love at first sight or love that grows over time, those same chemicals we talked about dopamine, oxytocin, they're always working in the background. Yes, and it's not just about those first moments of falling in love. Love evolves. Over time, those feelings change, don't they? It starts off with excitement and passion, but as time goes on, love becomes deeper. It's not just about butterflies anymore, but about trust, support, and understanding. Absolutely, James. It's like love transforms from that fast heartbeat and nervousness to something more calming and stable. Scientists call that first stage the honeymoon phase, where everything feels new and exciting. But after that, love matures and becomes more about companionship and comfort. It's still just as strong, but in a different way. Right, and this change is natural. As we get to know someone better, we feel more relaxed and secure in the relationship. It's not that the love is less intense, it's just that the feelings shift. The chemicals in our brain also change a bit. The excitement might not be as high, but the bond gets stronger. Yes, that's where oxytocin, the bonding hormone, really comes in. It's what makes you feel connected and safe with your partner. That's why after the honeymoon phase, love becomes more about emotional closeness and trust. It's like the foundation of the relationship is getting stronger. Exactly, and that's something really important to understand. Love isn't just about the thrill of the beginning. It's also about the long-term connection. It's about growing together, learning more about each other, and supporting each other through both good and tough times. That's so true, James. Love grows deeper with time. And as we go through challenges together, like disagreements or tough situations, it actually makes the relationship stronger. It's not just about feeling happy all the time, but about sticking together even when things get hard. Yes, love isn't always easy, but it's worth it. When two people care about each other, they work through those challenges and come out stronger on the other side. That's what makes love so powerful. It's not just about the easy times, but about staying connected even when it's difficult. Exactly, and that's where communication becomes so important. When you're in love, it's important to talk about your feelings and listen to each other. Communication helps keep that bond strong and makes sure both people feel understood and cared for. Definitely. Listening is just as important as talking. When you really listen to your partner, you show them that you care about what they're feeling. And that builds trust, which is a big part of a healthy relationship. Trust is key. Without trust, it's hard for love to grow. 
But when you trust someone, you feel safe with them, and that's when love really deepens. It becomes more than just a feeling, it becomes a partnership. Yes, a partnership. Love is like being on the same team. You work together, support each other, and face life's challenges as a team. It's not just about being in love, it's about building a life together. I love that idea, James. Love really is about teamwork. It's about supporting each other's dreams, lifting each other up when things are tough, and celebrating the good moments together. It's a beautiful thing when two people can grow and achieve things together. Exactly. And you know what's really amazing? Love doesn't just make you feel good emotionally, it actually helps you grow as a person. Being in a loving relationship can make you more patient, more understanding, and even more confident. That's so true. When you're with someone who loves and supports you, you feel more confident to try new things and be your best self. It's like love gives you wings, right? Definitely. It's like having someone in your corner cheering you on. And when you know that someone believes in you, it's easier to believe in yourself. Exactly. Love gives us strength, not just because we feel supported, but also because we want to be the best we can be for the person we love. It's a really beautiful cycle. Yes, it's a positive cycle. Love helps us grow, and as we grow, the relationship gets even stronger. It's one of the reasons why love is so powerful. It doesn't just stay the same, it evolves, and it helps us evolve too. That's what makes love such a special journey. It's full of learning, growing, and becoming better together. And the amazing part is, this journey doesn't have an end. It keeps going as long as you're willing to put in the effort to keep that love alive. So, love is a journey that keeps going as long as both people are willing to put in the effort, right? But let's talk about that effort a little more. How do we keep love alive, especially after the excitement of those early days starts to settle down? It's easy to think love should just stay the same, but real love takes work. Absolutely, James. It's not just about feeling those butterflies forever. It's about making choices every day to keep the relationship strong. People often think love just happens, but the truth is, you have to keep working at it. And it's the little things that matter showing kindness, being patient, and understanding each other's needs. Yes, and I think that's something people don't always realize. The science of love doesn't stop at falling in love, it's about staying in love, too. One of the biggest things researchers talk about is the importance of small gestures. It's those little acts of kindness that really keep the bond strong over time. Exactly. Things like saying thank you, giving a compliment, or even just asking how your partner's day was these things might seem small, but they show that you care. And when you keep doing those things, love keeps growing. Right. It's like watering a plant. If you don't give it water or sunlight, it's going to wither. Love is the same. You have to give it attention, and that means checking in with each other, being thoughtful, and making time to connect. I love that comparison. James, love really does need attention, just like a plant. And one of the best ways to give that attention is through communication. Being open about your feelings, your hopes, and even your worries helps keep the relationship strong. Yes, and not just talking, but really listening to each other. That's a huge part of it. When we really listen, we show the other person that we value them and their thoughts. It creates a sense of connection, which is so important for long-lasting love. It is, and you know, another thing that helps love grow over time is doing new things together. Studies have shown that couples who try new activities, whether it's something fun like cooking a new recipe together or taking a class, often feel closer to each other. It's like they're creating new memories, and that strengthens the bond. I've heard about that too. Doing something new can bring back that excitement you felt when you first met because you're sharing a new experience. It makes you feel more connected, like you're growing together. Exactly. And that brings us back to what we were saying earlier about love being a journey. It's about continuing to grow together, sharing experiences, 
and learning more about each other every day. Yes, and those shared experiences are what make the relationship feel fresh, even after many years. That's how you keep the excitement alive by continuing to explore life together, trying new things, and building on that connection. And speaking of connection, one of the most important ways to keep love alive is by showing appreciation. It's so easy to take each other for granted, especially when you've been together for a long time. But taking a moment to say I appreciate you or thank you for being here can make a big difference. Absolutely. When you feel appreciated, you're reminded of why the relationship matters. And it doesn't have to be a big thing, just a simple thank you or I love you can go a long way. Those words remind your partner that you see them and that you value them. Exactly. And that sense of being valued is so important for keeping love strong. It's easy to get caught up in daily routines, but taking a moment to appreciate each other keeps that connection alive. And I think that's really the key, isn't it? Love doesn't have to be complicated. It's about the simple things listening, appreciating, spending time together. These small actions are what keep love growing over time. Definitely. And another big part of keeping love alive is learning to forgive. No relationship is perfect, and there will always be misunderstandings or disagreements. But being able to forgive and move forward is what makes love stronger. Yes, because holding on to anger or frustration can create distance in a relationship. But when you forgive, it's like letting go of that weight and it allows you to reconnect with your partner. Exactly. Forgiveness helps us move past the tough moments and focus on what really matters the love and connection we have with the other person. It's about letting go of grudges and remembering why we fell in love in the first place. That's such an important point, Emma. It's easy to get caught up in disagreements, but if we take a step back and remember the bigger picture why we love this person and the good things about the relationship, it helps us get through the tough times. Right, and that's what love is about choosing to stay connected, even when things aren't perfect. It's about working through challenges together and coming out stronger on the other side. Exactly. It's a journey, like we said before. And as long as both people are willing to put in the effort, love can continue to grow and evolve. It's not always easy, but it's definitely worth it. Absolutely. The effort we put into love is what makes it so special. It's a journey that changes us, helps us grow, and teaches us so much about ourselves and each other. You know, Emma, what you just said really hits home. Love does teach us a lot about ourselves, about patience, and about how to truly care for someone else. It's funny, isn't it? We start out thinking love is just this wonderful feeling, but over time, it becomes something that shapes who we are. Yes, James, love teaches us so much. It's not just about romance or excitement. It's about growth. We learn patience, kindness, how to communicate better, and even how to deal with difficult emotions. Love pushes us to be better, even when it's hard. Exactly. And that's the part people don't often talk about how love challenges us. It's not always easy. Sometimes love makes us face things about ourselves that we don't want to see, like our fears or insecurities. But that's where the real growth happens, right? Oh, for sure. Love isn't just about the good moments. It's about working through the hard ones, too. When we're in a relationship, we can't always hide from our emotions. We have to deal with them, and sometimes that's tough. But it's in those tough moments that we learn the most about who we are and what we want. Yes, love is like a mirror. It shows us the parts of ourselves that need work. And when we choose to grow through those challenges, we become better people not just for our partners, but for ourselves. That's so true. Love helps us see ourselves in a different way. It can make us realize how strong we are, how much we can give, and how much we can grow. It's almost like love teaches us resilience. We learn to bounce back from disagreements, misunderstandings, and even mistakes. Exactly. 
And speaking of mistakes, love also teaches us how to forgive not just our partner, but ourselves. We're all human and we're going to mess up sometimes. But when you're in a loving relationship, you learn to forgive those mistakes, to move forward and to keep building that connection. Yes, forgiveness is such a big part of love. It's about letting go of the little things that can build up over time. Sometimes it's easy to hold on to hurt, but love teaches us that it's better to let go and focus on the bigger picture the connection we share with the other person. Exactly, and that's why love helps us grow so much. It teaches us to look beyond the small things and to focus on what really matters trust, understanding, and respect. Those are the foundations of any strong relationship. Definitely, and love also teaches us how to be vulnerable. When we're in love, we open up parts of ourselves that we might usually keep hidden. That can be scary, but it's also what creates real closeness. Right. Vulnerability is such an important part of love. It's about being real with each other, sharing your fears, your dreams, and your insecurities. And when you do that, it allows the other person to see you for who you really are. Exactly. And when you're vulnerable, it gives your partner the chance to support you in a way that nobody else can. That's when love becomes really powerful when it's based on true understanding and acceptance. That's what makes love feel so safe, right? When you know that you can be your true self, flaws and all, and the other person still loves and accepts you. That's when love becomes more than just a feeling, it becomes a partnership, a deep connection. Yes, and that's why love can be so healing, too. When you feel loved for who you really are, it helps you grow in confidence. You start to believe in yourself more because someone else believes in you. Exactly. Love has a way of making us feel stronger, not just because of the other person, but because it shows us what we're capable of. It reminds us that we're worthy of love, even with all our imperfections. That's such an important point, James. Love isn't about being perfect. It's about being real. It's about accepting each other's flaws and still choosing to love one another. And that's where the beauty of love lies in that choice. Absolutely. Love is a choice we make every day. It's a decision to be patient, to be kind, and to stay connected, even when things aren't perfect. And that's what makes love so powerful. It's not something that just happens to us, it's something we build together. Yes, and that's such a comforting thought. Love isn't just about luck or chance, it's something we can create and grow with time and effort. When both people are committed, love can last a lifetime. Exactly. It's a process, and it takes time, but it's so worth it. And the beautiful part is, love doesn't just stay the same, it keeps evolving, just like we do. The more we learn and grow, the stronger love becomes. And that's why love is such a powerful teacher. It teaches us how to be better, how to care more deeply, and how to support each other through anything. It's a lifelong journey of growth and discovery. So, Emma, it really is a lifelong journey, isn't it? Love keeps teaching us and growing with us. It's like this never-ending adventure where we learn something new every day, not just about the other person, but about ourselves too. Absolutely, James. Love is something we continuously discover, and that's what makes it so special. It's always evolving, and so are we. Every day, love challenges us in new ways. It pushes us to be more understanding, more patient, and more open. Yes, and the beauty is, no matter how much we think we know about love, there's always something more to learn. Love is kind of like a book that never ends. Each chapter brings something new, whether it's a moment of joy, a challenge, or even a misunderstanding. But through it all, the story of love continues. That's such a great way to put it, and in that story, there are so many important lessons. Like how love is about showing up every day, being present, and choosing to care. It's not just about the big romantic gestures we see in movies. It's about the little things the way we listen, the way we support each other.
and the way we grow together. Exactly. It's the everyday moments that matter the most. The quiet times when you're just sitting together, talking about your day. The times when you're there for each other when things get tough. Those are the moments that build the foundation of real love. Yes, and sometimes it's those simple, quiet moments that are the most meaningful. When you realize that love isn't always fireworks and grand declarations, but the comfort of knowing that someone is there for you, no matter what. Right, and I think that's why love is so powerful. It's the one thing that can truly connect us on a deeper level. It makes us feel understood, seen, and valued. It's something that gives life meaning in a way nothing else can. Exactly. Love isn't just about romance. It's about connection. It's about building something with someone that goes beyond just the surface. It's about creating a partnership where both people feel safe, accepted, and appreciated. Yes, and that's where the real magic of love lies. It's in those deep connections, the kind that can weather any storm. Love doesn't give up when things get hard at fights for what matters. It finds ways to heal, to forgive, and to keep moving forward. That's such an important part of love. It's not about perfection. It's about commitment. It's about choosing to stay even when things aren't easy, because you know that what you have is worth it. And in those moments, love becomes something even greater. It becomes this force that helps us grow, not just as individuals, but together. It's what makes us stronger, wiser, and more compassionate. And that's why love, in all its forms, is so special. Yes, and it's something we all seek in one way or another. Whether it's romantic love, the love of family, or even the love of friends, it's what makes life richer and more fulfilling. Love is what connects us all. Exactly. And no matter where we are in life, love is always there, guiding us, teaching us, and reminding us that we're never alone. It's the one thing we can always count on, even in the toughest times. Yes, James, love is always there. It's the thread that weaves through our lives, connecting everything together. And no matter how complicated or challenging life gets, Love is what brings us back to what really matters. And I think that's the most beautiful part of it. Love isn't just something we experience. It's something we create, something we nurture, and something we carry with us through every moment of our lives. That's right, James. Love isn't just a feeling, it's an action, a choice we make every day. It's something we give, something we receive, and something that grows with us. And in that, there's so much beauty and meaning. And so, as we wrap up this conversation about love, I think the most important thing to remember is that love is a journey one that's filled with ups and downs, lessons and growth. But through it all, love is what makes life truly special. Yes, James, love is what makes everything worthwhile. It's the reason we keep going, the reason we push through the hard times, and the reason we celebrate the good ones. It's what makes life full. So, for everyone listening, I hope you take something from this conversation, whether it's a new way of looking at love or just a reminder of how important it is in our lives. Remember, love is all around us, in big ways and small, and it's always there to teach us, to help us grow, and to make us better. Exactly. And no matter where you are in your own journey, just know that love is always worth it. Whether you're learning about love, experiencing it for the first time, or rediscovering it after a long time, it's always a journey that will bring you closer to yourself and to others. Well, Emma, I think we've covered a lot of ground today. Love is such a special topic, and I'm really glad we got to dive deep into what it means. It's something that touches all of us in different ways, and it's been great sharing this conversation with you and with everyone listening. It's been amazing, James. Love is one of those things that never gets old. It's always fascinating, always evolving, and always worth talking about. I hope our listeners feel inspired by what we've shared. Me too, and I just want to say thank you to everyone who joined us today. 
We hope you found this conversation as meaningful as we did and that it sparked some thoughts or feelings about love in your own life. Yes, thank you all for listening. It's been a pleasure sharing this time with you. And we hope you continue to explore the beautiful science of falling in love whether it's in a relationship or even just within yourself. And with that, we'll say goodbye, keep learning, keep growing, and most of all, keep loving. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.